Good morning, Grand Community Ecosystem stakeholders. Today is 22nd of June, 2024. Saturday, 22nd June, 2024. My name is Pastor Donald Obasokore, PA to Just Lovely, and admin for special duties, Just Lovely team. Yeah, I want to quickly address, on behalf of the team, the voice note of um, Abdurasaki bin Yakub that was made yesterday, 21st June 2024. And um, having listened to that voice note, it is important that the following will be addressed. Number one, I do say that they never collected any money from anybody in the Grand Community Ecosystem. That is a very fat lie very big lie. I don't think there is any grant handler in Nigeria that has been able to collect the amount of money all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria has extorted from the Grand Community Ecosystem stakeholders. From the time Abdu became the president of the defunct all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria is on record. Now, for those of you that are from Anambara and um, River State, where they used mostly to generate their money, can you not see when we were telling you people to avoid collaborating with this agent, you didn't see it. You didn't deem it to be reasonable, reasonable advice. Now, he has openly and publicly denied you people because the masses you were collecting the money from were never paying to them directly. They used a resource account to pay. The only thing that we saved you people is you paid, you transferred directly to them. But if it is something, maybe they used another means to collect the money from you, your own is rest in peace. That is the way it is or even rest in pieces because the people you people collected the money from we definitely deal with you people in a way that you least imagined because the person you gave the money is not saying he never collected dime from any of you this is the time for you people to rise up and do the needful i have never seen people as evil as this or grand pressure group, this defunct or grand pressure group under Abdurazak Ibn Yaqub. Terribly evil. Number two, you said all oh, the grants in Nigeria fed, uh, but the one, there is one that has not fed, which is the one that is under your care. As far as we are concerned, AGPGN what you promised nigerians is known as palliative and you say that it is from the federal government just calm yourself down that money you are pro you are producing it you are giving it to nigerians all these ones you came out and started speaking ga, 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 ga. don't worry when you finished making all this hell of noise you are going to come down the money you promised you will bring it you are talking of Nigerian government, the picture you are painting Nigerian government is you are trying to make the 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 world and the Nigerians that subscribe to UAAG grant, which is UAS project, to begin to believe that Nigerian government is not a responsible government. That is what you are trying to build up. I have not seen people that are terrible like these guys. You want to bring a chaotic condition now in Nigeria so that Nigerians that subscribe to UAAG will roam out to the streets massively against the government and against UAAG. This is a very well tailored civil violence incitement. But you have failed because what you are doing now is to see how you can cause chaos and then there will be serious wahala everywhere so that you will have a reason to celebrate that you said it 
if it will take two years or ten years to delay this disbursement that you people will do it we want to let you know we are not fools we are not fools at all government took over the uh, supervision of the activities of UAAG UAS project because of circumstances around it but they are not going to give it to you people to this boss because there is a procedure for everything and in as much as I know about this present government of Nigeria under His Excellency Mr. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and also the President of the Nation, there is a careful and meticulous way of handling activities. Anyone that is very careful following we find that, that the, this government is trying to make sure that things will begin to work the way it should. Most of the most of the most of the things you people are doing, and it seems as if to say government is quiet. There is nothing like being quiet there. It is an act of carefulness, diligence to make sure that what is the right thing is done, and the right thing has been done. Apostle Ken remains the man that is in charge of the UAH UAS project. You are saying it has failed. To your greatest shame, you will still see that the disbursement is going to come. And the palliative you promise, you must pay it. Just be very much aware of that. You must pay it. The same, number three, it was you, because whatever thing all well, um, Ellie's, and the rest of them are doing, you are the person in charge. Because all of you are working together. Orwell came out and accused Mr. Abbas of taking bribe. That is very gravy. Of taking bribe from Apostle Ken. Very gravy. And then you came back a few hours and said, you never sent Orwell. You never did this. You never did that. Orwell came back later and apologized. Listen, you guys are very, very tactical in telling lies. You are masters in deception. But we, in, we Nigerians can never by any means succumb to all these your antics. We cannot. Then the last thing I want to say is anybody that is believing what these guys are doing you are just deceiving yourself the government of nigeria under his excellency mr bola meditinumbu cannot in any way come this low to destroy his name the country is passing through a lot of issues and from all that I have been seeing the president do, he has been trying to make sure that there is perfect uh, organization structure of the country to make sure that everything works in perfection. So he will never be involved in anything that is uh, that has a shady or dubious activity, just the way it is shrouded on the uh, personalities of all Grand Pressure Group leadership. So everybody should remain calm, remain focused. Disbursement is not on voice note. Disbursement is not on write-up. Disbursement is not about coming to make a broadcast. Disbursement is about alert. So let's wait. The alert will tell us what the truth is. I remember Pastor Donald of Asokori, PA to Joyce Lovely, telling you there is no reason to fear. Disbursement is perfectly coming our way through Apostle Professor Ken Wakama. God bless us all and have a very blessed weekend.